Welcome to Pete Eats Lancaster, sponsored by Gock and Arrow Home Appliances. We're on our quest to find the top four burgers in all of Lancaster County. Let's go to burger school. Hi We're here at the Horse Inn. I'm with Russell. Russell, how are you doing? Good, yourself? I'm doing very well, very well. Congratulations, first of all, on being one of the top four burgers in Lancaster County. There were nominations, but, but throughout the entire process, it, was, it seemed like there was a continual theme that everybody wanted the, uh, the Horse Inn burger. How do you feel about that? It feels good. It's got to feel good. Yeah. It smells good. So, it tastes good. That, I can imagine. I'm, I'm waiting good. to get to it. But I, I kind of want to learn a little bit about that. But before we get to that, there, there's a history in this building. It, it was. It, and correct me if I'm wrong here, it opened in 1920 as a speakeasy. It's true. Branded the Horse Inn in 1935 when we started selling food. Those are facts. And is, these are facts. These are good facts, too. And is the longest continuously running restaurant in Lancaster City. All facts. Fact check me here. I'm good? All facts. Phenomenal. All awesome. Yeah, can can you tell me a little bit about what goes into this process and why, why people are coming in here and, and why this is now surpassed your, your tenderloin tips, which nothing to, nothing against them, I'm sure those are phenomenal tenderloin still, tips but are great. this is They're it. still popular. Uh, the burger's great, um, you know, so we start with super, like, hyper uh, quality ingredients. The beef is a uh, is a blend of chuck, brisket, and short rib, um, you know, dry age. It's blended especially for us, nobody else can get this particular blend. Um, one of the most important parts is, you know, the vessel on which we cook the burger, so we have this beautiful, 70 plus year old uh, cast iron flat top and there's just a ton of soul, a ton of history in that piece of equipment that, you know, it imparts kind of a flavor that you're not going to find in any place but the horse in. So this is not only a handcrafted burger, this is a soul crafted burger now. It there, is. There's it's, love in there. Yeah, there's love. I mean, it's a deliberate burger. It's classic, you know, it's very straightforward and simple, but uh, like I said, it, you know, it's, it's meant to be exactly the way that it is. Well, no substitutions. Fantastic. Well, there, there's no substitutions for the actual taste. Do you mind if I just dig in and, and try Please what we're do. talking about? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, truth, I'm looking forward to this. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. I love that. It's a little messy. And, but uh, yeah, hey. it has to be, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't want a clean burger. I'm here having a burger. Yeah, you got some on your mm. face. I will. I'll get it off. <laughs> Russell, thank you so much. I'd shake your hand, but I'm probably going to get back into this burger. You're awesome. Right. I love it. I love it. Cool. So, thank you so much for walking me through what, what makes this the uh, one of the top four burgers in Lancaster County. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in. Congratulations. Thanks to Russell and the friendly staff here at the Horse Inn. Don't forget to visit us on LancasterOnline.com and throughout all our social media platforms. Also, remember, Tuesdays and Saturdays, Dixieland Jazz here at the Horse Inn. So I gotta practice. Give me some time here.